This is now first the Hebrew Bible, and I'm sure you're going to agree with this. This is the Torah. See now that I, even I am he, there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So here God says, all power over life and death is in my hand. Life and death is in my hand. You die when I want you to die, and you live if I want you to live, and no one can deliver out of my hand. You would accept this, right? Yeah, I do accept that. Okay, so... No creature can talk like this. No creature can say, no one can deliver out of my hand and I make a lie, right? Correct. Okay, now, Isaiah 43, verse 13. Yea, before the day was, I am he. There is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work when who shall let it. In other words, no power can deliver anything out of my hand. When I want to do something, who can stop me? You agree that only God can say that, right? Only God can say that. Allah. Okay, good. Well, hold on. I'm just trying to set it up so you can see. Okay, now here... Psalm 95, this is a Zabur of Dawood, Zabur of David, or Zabur anyway. 95, 6 to 8, it says, O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, Yehovah, our maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the sheep of his hand. So he's saying, we are the sheep in his hand, hand meaning his power, his care. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as at Meribah. As in the day of mass in the wilderness. So here it's saying, since you are the sheep in God's hand and his care, where he protects you and feeds you and preserves you by his hand, his power, listen to his voice. Okay, keep that in mind. We are the sheep of God in God's hand under his care and protection. We are to hear his voice. Now watch this. Watch what God says. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life, life that never ends. Notice what God is saying. They shall never perish, nor shall anyone snatch them from my hand. See, I give them eternal life. No one can snatch them out of my hand. When they're in my hand, I protect them, and I'm almighty to preserve them from anyone who want to destroy them. They're my sheep. They're my voices. So you see what God said? Do you agree with what God said here? I do agree. And nobody can do what God can do. So, Okay, but again, I just want to make sure. So you, do, you don't have no problem with God saying this, even though it's in my Bible, that just God said. Let me read it again. God just said, one more time, let me read it. He said, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, they follow me. We follow God. I give them eternal life. Only God can give life that never ends, right? Correct. And they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. They're in my hand, and I protect them. I'm almighty, so no one can destroy them if they're in my hand. So you agree with the words of God here, that God alone can say this and do this, right? Of course, and I and I and Amen. I agree. A, a lot of what the Old Testament says, yes, agrees with the Quran. Good, good. So you agree that this God, but, here God is agreeing with the Quran, right? Yeah, that's Jesus. Not, not just this. Jihad, you know, not listen. That's Jesus speaking. I just quoted okay. Jesus, and you just admit okay, Jesus so, claimed to be God. So okay, but listen okay. before you get excited. Hold on, wait. No, okay, no, no. Jihad, listen, that's Jesus. I just quoted Jesus in John 10, 27, 28, and you just admit that's God Almighty speaking, so you just admit that Jesus claimed to be God Almighty in the flesh. Thank you, Jihad. No, you you, you were in the Old Testament. No, I, was, I know. Said, I didn't say where I was. I said, are these the words of God? You said yes. Well, well what I'm saying to you is God can say that. But Jesus God just can. said it. Okay. Now let I, me read okay. the rest of it, though. My I don't father, believe that Jesus can say that. But you just said only God can say, I give eternal life, none can deliver on my hand. So you're changing your mind now? Now let me finish it, though. Let me just finish it, 29 and 30. You were, my, you can I finish the, the two verses, Jihad? Yeah? Let me just finish two verses. My father, see, Jesus speaking, so he's not the father, who's given them to me is greater than all. No one is able to snatch them from my father's hand. So notice what Jesus said. No one shall snatch them out of my hand. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. Why? My father and I are one. There you go, Jihad. Okay. Now, do you accept I don't that? Believe Jesus, Jesus has the right to say those things. You made it sound as if God was saying those things in the Old Testament. And if God is saying those things in the Old Testament, that's correct. Okay. I want everyone to hear this. So you're saying a creature can give everlasting, never-ending life. A creature is almighty over life and death, and a creature has the power to protect believers in his hand forever so that no one can destroy them. A creature can do that, huh? No, a creature cannot do that. But that's what Jesus just said, and you don't believe he's God, so make up your mind.
No, no, Sam, what are you talking about? Jesus said, I give them everlasting life. No one can pluck them out of my hand. No one can deliver them out of my hand. I'm almighty over them to protect them. So, Jesus, you don't believe he's God. So are you saying he just committed shirk? No, what I believe is that this is a version of the corrupted oh. Bible. 